Hey guys, three things that's going to make your squeegee rubbers work very well. It's pressure, knowing when to add pressure to a rubber that's wearing out. It's speed to lose those, those streaks that are, see I'm leaving a streak coming here, but if I, if I speed up, the streak goes away, okay? Speed, pressure, and confidence. Let's start with pressure. Whether you are doing a straight pull down or you're doing the fan motion, if it gets too loud, you can pause it. Speed, confidence, and pressure all have to do with this squeegee rubber right here. Okay. If, okay, let's start with uh, I said pressure. So as my rubber wears out, it's going to start looking like this, okay? If you can see that, it's going to leave some stuff behind. Now, if this is a brand new rubber, the edge is going to be so perfect, you could literally just set it on the window, add a little pressure, and it's going to, it's going to capture that water in there, create these little whirlpools and go straight down. Not whirlpools, but little tsunamis swirling and scrubbing that window down, okay? But as the rubber wears out, so this is new rubber. This is my finger here. New rubber, it's as if my finger can go straight against the glass. Older rubber, as rubber wears out, and even, you know, sometimes right away, you need to see where my finger bends at the tip? That's how rubber bends. It needs to put that little bend on it. So if you're finding it streaking on a straight pull or a fan motion, you need to add the pressure okay and it's going to take care of a lot of that some of you guys starting out and you just want to do a good window cleaning job um go straight down okay this isn't a how to clean a window video it's a it's a rubberology what the rubber's doing if you're starting to leave streaks and your rubber's wearing out don't walk to your car and get a new one finish the job just add some pressure Add the pressure, but realize you could do probably another two or three houses with that same rubber. I'll, I'll go in my van after a couple months of not even cleaning windows, I'll jump in with the crew, and I'll just grab the same squeegee that's been in my van forever, and I'll fly through a window. And they've already exchanged their rubbers many times because they're like, oh, it's getting a little bump on it, I gotta exchange it. Okay, point number two is speed. Okay, you're like, man, I just keep leaving that streak on the straight pull. Uh, I'll, I'll do a pressure one on the fan as well. So on the straight pull, it's like, man, look at that streak. Well, put it down, man, and it won't leave that streak, okay? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, speed. So down. Do it quick, even with pull work. This one's still leaving a streak because I'm not, I'm not necessarily doing it the right perfect way and this rubber is really worn down but um speed is going to help you stay ahead of that streak okay so speed will take care of that streak as i as i turn over put it on the put the dry tip i typically wipe it off here put it on the dry tip of the window and angle it down if i go slow the water's going to drift down in there i wish you could see it in there if I go fast, the water's gonna channel up and out this side, okay? If I just keep going slower and slower, trying to be more and more careful, it's, it's gonna leave more and more streaks, okay? So let's talk about speed on the fan motion. Sorry, let's talk about pressure. Let's rewind and talk about pressure on the fan motion. Again, use the pressure, okay? Add some pressure on that fan motion and it's gonna stay ahead. It's gonna capture all the water underneath it, okay? Let's do speed on the fan motion, okay? This is very important. I cut the window, and man, it's just leaving that streak over the edge. I got technicians now that do this. You know, and they think they're going fast, and I'm like, dude, you're leaving a streak every time. They're like, oh, it dries, or whatever they say. You need to, Get speed on it. Get that going up quick. Get it going up quick. Get it going up quick, okay? Using the wagtail. 
I don't want to do the wagtail with too much pressure. It's if you're doing pressure with the wagtail, you better be at a good enough angle to press it against that glass and press it back. But if you're doing wagtail, man, I would have a pretty good rubber because you're not going to get much pressure on that window. Speed with wagtail is you could sometimes just if you're going here and there's a stubborn spot that's not getting it, just just jet it quick. Just by that one motion, it flicks all the water off and flicks up and you got dry dry rubber leaving here, okay? So, um, one good workout to do with this with, with squeegee is uh, over the mountain, I call it. So I'm going over the mountain here, I'm capturing all the water on the right side, and then I'm opening that back up and putting the water back on the window. Now I'm coming back over the mountain, wetting the left side, and flicking back over the mountain. <clears throat> so I could just sit here, I could build the mountain up, I could build the mountain down, I could build the mountain up, I could build the mountain down, okay? So I can keep going up and over the same area of a window and work on my technique, you know, either one, either one, either squeegee, okay? And out, and out, okay. So we've talked about speed with wagtail. You guys just, whatever I just said about the wagtail is very important, it's that speed, okay? You're using the wagtail, it's like, man, it's streaking. Just the start of it needs to be a flick up. Boom, because that water right there is really wet. That, that corner there is very wet. When you speed up real quick, you're leaving all that water behind and it's flicking it off and coming up high and then it's not going to leave a streak. You get a little flaky corner, you know, you could just peel them off, click, and then it's not a very good rubber edge. This rubber edge is not very good, but if you flick off that little hangnail and speed up, your rubber will last longer, okay? Okay, let's talk about confidence. Uh, I learned confidence in how rubber works by just, I mean, if you just get on a window, go fast, and you're really just, this is a really bad rubber here, and you're really just confident with the window. Uh, I think there was one day that I was just very, I did not care either, a client made me mad, or a, like a count we weren't gonna do next time or something, and I just flew through the windows like I didn't care. And then I was gonna come back, and if I did a bad job, I was gonna look, but, I flew through the windows so fast and they turned out pretty much just as good. Instead of sitting there going, oh man, I gotta do this whole window. I just started just jamming through the window, you know? If you guys know the Custodial Custodian channel, he just does that all day. Sometimes he leaves streaks here and there. Um, see, I'm flicking it off. Uh, but he'll fly through a whole house and I'm like, dude, this guy didn't even use rags at all. He literally will walk through a house like this. Custodial custodian, that's Austin. He, he's one of the uh, guys that really I've partnered up with, with business and um, he'll go through a whole house with just a mop and a squeegee on the exterior. And he'll literally just like do the whole thing with that. He'll, he'll shave off the edges and because he's so confident with that squeegee, it doesn't make much physical sense, but when you're confident, it transfers into your tools. So instead of, if you're taking two minutes to do this window, two minutes to do that, try to do them both in a minute and just move on and do the whole house in that speed, then come back and really see, hmm, maybe if my technique was a little bit better, I could have just done them that fast and that was it. So. You can slow down a rabbit, but you cannot speed up a turtle, okay? If you're going nice and slow, try to just speed up a little bit, okay? So, the three things in rubberology are pressure, speed, and confidence.